today. My name is Shos. In today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make cutted pattern from basic bodies, how to draft it out. I've drawn the line I'll be working on. This is my shoulder line. My shoulder measurement is 14 divided by 2. So I've marked it there, which is 7. I marked this also as my bust line, 7 inches from here. Then I've drawn a straight line across it, like this. From here to this place is my bust line. I've named it bust line. From this shoulder to here is my bust point. From shoulder to here is my under bust. While from shoulder to here is my waist line. You can see. Then from shoulder to here is my corset line. My corset line. Like this. Before I start, if I new to my channel as a welcome, please click on the subscribe button to get updates if I drop a new video. Thanks. From this shoulder, I will draw the line which is 7 inches like this. From shoulder, 7 yeah. inches. Today, my name is Strauss. In today's video, I will be teaching you guys how to make cutted pattern from basic bodies, how to draft it out. I have drawn the line I will be working on. This is my shoulder line. My shoulder measurement is 14 divided by 2. So I've marked it there which is 7. I marked this also as my bust line, 7 inches from here. Then I've drawn a straight line across it, like this. From here to this place is my bust line. I've named it bust line. From this shoulder to here is my bust point. From shoulder to here is my under bust. While from shoulder to here is my waist line, you can see. Then from shoulder to here is my corset line. My corset line. Like this. Before I start, if you are new to my channel as a welcome, please click on the subscribe button to get updates if I drop a new video. Thanks. From this shoulder, I will draw the line which is 7 inches, like this. From shoulder, 7 yeah. inches. 7 inches, like this. This is the same way you change Then make a straight line across it like so. Something. So this line, let me name it above bust line or chest line. So I'll name it above bust line. You can see this, my above bust line. At my bust line, the circumference around that is 36, 36 divided by 4, which is 9. You can see, this is 9 inches here. Like create an arm hook off. Then I will go ahead and create my arm hook off. Yeah. So this is my, this is my arm hook off. At my bust point, my nipple to nipple measurement is 7 inches, 7 divided by 2, that is 3 and half. This is 3 and half. I'll mark 3 and half at my waistline, then at the corset line also. At my bust line, 3 and half. Then above bust line, 3 and half. Then I'll make a straight line across it like this. You can see. So I've drawn a straight line across it. At my bust point to my under bust, the distance around that area, I'll measure it from my bust point to my under bust. I'm left with three and a half. You can see the distance between them from bust point to under bust is three and a half. So I will form a circle shape like this. At a bust point, just place your tape tool like this. You can see. Place your tape tool at this first point at the middle. It's like creating a circle shape. This sort of guideline. So, reverse your tape tool line. This is three and a half. 
around you can see three and a half do it gently round Three and a half. So I will use I will I will shape it out well to see now. Three and a half. Around from my boss points to my under boss, the distance between them is three and a half. So. The reason why I'm doing this is like guard knight to drag out your corset. So do it gently. You can see. So this is the three and a half of drag out. So check it well. You can see. This is the three and a half inches. Round. Then I'll come to my under boss. I'll take out that of one, one inches. You can decide to go with one and a half. But for me, I want it one inches. At my under boss, one inches at the side, at the middle. Then one inches at the side, like this. Then mark it also at the waistline, one inch, like this. Then connect it together. Remember at my under bust, then at my waist, more inches that like this. You can see. I took more inches that. Then connect it to your corset line. Connect the that you took to your corset line. You can use your French cup to do that. Gently like this. Then at my boss point, sort of creating the cup, the breast cup like this. For so now you can make use of your French cup. Just create a cup and see. From your boss point, like this, at the middle, when you gently draw it, like creating a curve around this area, like this. So, I create a curve here, the back curve here. There are these above boss line. I will take a dart of half inches towards my middle part, then one and a half inches towards my side part. At this middle part, I'm taking half inches dart like this. While at my side part, this one and a half inches, I took one and a half inches here. Why at my side part, half inches? Then gently draw it to your boss point also this to my boss point you can see this one and a half inches at my side part then draw it gently to your boss point then we may you to check it at this point, I'm having three and a half. Why at this point, I'm having three inches. So I have to add half inches so that the both fabric will be equal. When sewing, it will not be shortened by one fabric. So at this side part, I'm having three and a half. Why at the middle part, I'm having three inches. Then I'll just add half inches like this to make the two fabric, the two parts equal. Then you connect it 
together like this. So the two fabrics will be equal when you in. Then you come to this point at the middle. At my bust line, I will come in by half an inch like this. Half an inch. Then at my bust point, half an inch. Then you form a straight line like this at both. This place is what I've created, it's not creating and sweet that neck at this point, sweet that neck. You can decide to mark it at a boss point like this to this point. Or if you want it a deeper sweet that neck, you can mark it at your boss point. It's how deep you want it at a boss point to this point, to the dark at all. But at this point, I want it at my boss line. At this boss line, I will just come down a little bit by half inches, but I want it deep. By half inch like this, then you mark it straight. I'll come down by half inch, then connect it to this point at top the dark with two squares. So, I will go ahead and connect it gently to, to this point. You can see. Then from your under bus, connect it to your bus. From your bus point, connect it to your under bus. This line. You connect it to your under bus like this. Sort of creating a curve around that area. And see, just connect it gently. You can see. Like this. Connect it from your boss point to your under boss. From this line you came to your above boss line. So at this side, at the arm hole, I'll just come in by one and a half here. Yeah. I come in by one and a half inches from this point. Then I come in by one and a half inches like this. Because you can check it, your middle part, your side part is more than your middle part. And want to create a room around this area. So I come in by one and a half. Then I will mark it, I will join it also to my boss point. I'm left with half inch here. So I'll just come up by a quarter inch like this. You can decide to join it from this first point. You join it up like this to the above line. But if you join it up, you can see we do not bypass this dotted line. But we want to create more room at the middle part, at the side part rather. So I'll just go up by the half the quarter inch I took off, then you connect it to this above bus line like this, you can see. Then from this down to your, from this down, you connect it to your under bus also, you can see. You connect it to your under bus also, like this. You can see what I did here. So I've created more room for my boobs to rest here. Yeah. Then you connect it back to your arm hole. Oh. You can see what I did here. Then at your bust line, this is 9 inches here. Yeah. Then the that I took, this half inch that, then I'll just add it half inch. At my under bust, my underboss measurement is seven and a half. Then the two inches that you add it at my waistline also seven and a half. Then the two inches that at my quarter line the circumference around that area is eight divided by four, which is nine and a half, like this. And then I will connect it together. Connect it together. 
You can decide to leave your corset like this. This two pieces, one, two, or you can name it like this. This one, two, three, and four. You can cut it out like this and see it. But I want to divide it into four. That is why I put one, two. So one, two, three, and four. So I'll cut it out in four pieces. Then I'll be removing one and a half inch. You can see from this point, one and a half. Then one and a half. Like this. You can see. One and a half inches. Then you go right here. At this point, just one and a half. Then you connect it together. You can see. So one and a half inch here. Go down gently one and a half. Then from here one and a half. Then I connect it together also. You can see so this is the four as the one, two, three, and four. The four parts. So you can cut into two in two pieces, but I've cut it out one, two, three, and four. Make sure to name it, to number it, so that you won't make mistake when saving it. So watch out why I cut it like this, so that you won't make mistake when saving it. All right, cut it out gently. Like this. So cut it out gently so you won't make any mistake because it's sort of sort of like confusing. Make sure to start from the down. Start from the down. Start from the down, then cut it out gently. You can see from this point I took, then you go ahead and cut it gently out. So of course then after cutting it out like this then you divide it into four places like this. You can see gently cut it out. Then you cut out the three and four also. So you get confused when sewing it out. I've cut it out like this, so this is how the cutted look like when cutting it out. The sweet tart neck. So let's put this aside. Then take the back. This is the back. I've dropped it out. So make sure your side part is the same as the back. You can see this is the bust line and the cutted line. They are equal. So 
at my at this side then I will take one inch zipper allowance this one inch zip allowance to my bust line also then form a straight line to join them together like this this is it then as my waistline then I'll take a, take a dart of three and a half inch dart of three and a half like this at my corset line also three and a half then join them together like this This gently then at my waist I'll take a dart of half inch at the both sides you can decide to go with one inch this half fit you want the corset to be but this half half inches at my waistline then at my bust line I took up one inch of inch just two quarter like this one inch of inch then you join them together like this join them together like this you can see here remember it's from up to your from both line to your waist then you connect it to the corset line like this you can see so like this as your what well, they measure your measurement at this bus line the circumference around that area is nine is nine inches then the eight inches I took which is half and I add it but at this point, this half half inches at my under, but I'm having seven and a half around that area. This seven and a half, then one inch that like this at my waist line, also seven and a half. Then the one inch that I took, where well, this line is nine and a half. We go ahead and join them together like this. Can see? Join them together. Then down to your cosine line to form a shape. So, at this waistline, we take a half inch dart like this. Half inch dart. The reason why I took half inch dart is because your back is not straight. It's like sort of slope at the middle of your back to so let the zip fitted and rest well. So I took half inch dart like this and use your French cuff to connect it together remember is that your waistline just like this connect it you can see then at the corset line also you connect it like this you can see sort of slope then you come in by then cut it out this down sort of slope so connect it like this and see then you cut it out
Okay, I'll do it. You can decide to leave your back like this or you slope it at this point just slope it one inches like this slope it from your zip layer one inch that just slope it down can see you go ahead and slope it here or you can leave it you can see this is how I slope the back like so I've cut it out like this this is my back part and my front part you can see thanks for watching my video kindly click the subscribe button to get updates if i drop a new video and click on the notification bell to notify you if i drop a new video thanks bye